Hey guys, today I wanted to go over one of the databases. It is found in the Mesquite ISD portal under the Library Services tab. And the database we're going to do today is EBSCO eBooks K through 8th grade collection. This database is available to elementary school students in grades K and up. So when you click on it, it will take you to the database. There are three basic tabs on the database. I know that the interface of this one is not as friendly as some of our, our other databases, so it will take some getting used to. This, when you open it, it takes you to a search tab. So basically, if your kids are going into this database and they know what they're wanting to look for, this is the tab for them, and it's the new search tab. Um, they're just, they can type in, if they're doing some research on nonfiction topics or if they're looking for a fiction book, they can just type that information in here, whether it's the title, the topic, the author. There are some search options, but I'll be honest, for some of our elementary school students, this might be a little much, so you might just want them to do the basic search. So I'm going to type in natural disasters. And you'll notice when I type in natural disasters and I do my search that it brings up a variety of books that cover natural disasters. And I can scroll up and down the page to look at them. Like I said, keep in mind when you are searching this because this is a database that caters all kindergartners through eighth grade. And that is a very big um, difference in readers. So if they click on a book and they're interested in it, there are going to be some different options. If they just want to download the full PDF of the text, they can click here. If they want to do some reading about, like, see what the book is about, they can click right here and read on the description. And um, what is really cool is it also will show them the table of contents. So if they're looking at natural disasters and they're looking for something specific, they can always go to the table of contents and look for that. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the PDF of text. And when they do that, it will bring up the actual book, what it looks like. Now, honestly, that's a little big. So since this is a little big for my screen, I can go over here and click on the minus key and size it down to a good size that is a, for me to read. Um, with that, there's also a table of contents right here. So if I want to go look at danger zones, I can click on it and it will take me over to that page after it gets loaded. Um, of course, they can just, you know, flip through the pages of the book by clicking on the forward key or the back key. There are options to download the book into Google Classroom or into Google Drive. Teachers, if you want to link this book to something, you can get a link for it by clicking on there. Um, if they want to print or if you're doing research and you need to cite it, you can click on that and it will give you the citation for your book. And of course, there is a dictionary. So if the kids need help with, um, you know, what the definitions of the book are, it brings up the dictionary and they can type in what they're needing help with and it will bring that. So that is, you know, a very quick overview of looking at a book. I am going to go back to new search up here at the top. That's always going to take you back to the home page. So this is the home page that we started with. Um, the other tabs that are available are a dictionary, so kids can just come and use this database as a dictionary if they want to, and they're basically going to type right in here what word they want, and it will bring up the definition of it. And then another thing that kids might want to do in this database is just search. So if they click on the ebooks option, it's just going to bring up a home page that has a wide variety of different ebooks that are in this database. There are different categories on the side. Uh, if they want to just do um, another search, they can type up here, sharks, and see what comes up. And it will bring up the list of sharks again. And, you know, if they want to go back into it, they can click on it, download it, put it in Google Drive, or in the Google Classroom. So this is uh, just a basic, really quick overview of EBSCO eBooks K through 8th collection. Remember that this is an ebook database. It's not reading any of the content to the kids. It's just a collection of electronic books for our students to use that are fiction and nonfiction. I think it's really good for research and or kids are just curious about a topic and they want to check out a book on the topic versus going to another database and just read an article or watching a video. It's a good option for them. So if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask and I hope you have a good day. Bye.